So today I have a question from a class eight student, Praveen Kumar. It was sent to me quite some time ago. Uh, and the question is, why do we see path of laser light? So essentially, if you shine a laser beam and if there is some dust in the room, you can see the path sitting anywhere in the room. So the question is, and then he is explains that if the ray of light is going towards east and the observer sits at a point, uh, say towards north, then the ray should continue on its path and never reach the eye. But we are still able to see the laser light. How? So that is the question. And uh, when most of us know that it is because of the scattering of light from different particles uh, in the path. This boy, this boy Praveen Kumar also guesses that, also guesses that. Sir, I once thought that perhaps the spreading of light by particles could be the cause. But then uh, he says that still there is a problem and uh, I'll just explain the problem. He says that suppose light is scattered by some particle and goes in some other direction and observer is sitting here. So it has to scatter again from a, another particle and come to I. But then the laser should be seen at that new particle which has scattered it to the eye, not the original path. But uh, we see the original path, it continues towards us. And so, so that's the question that we, we do see the actual path. So how it happens. So very nice thoughts and uh, very nice uh, analysis. Congratulations, very nice, very good. Now the fact is, Everything is perfect. Whatever, whatever you have written is really perfect. So if the beam is going like this and I am sitting here and there are some particles, dust particles everywhere in the, in the room. So a dust particle here, some light bounces off from here and goes in this direction and some goes in, uh, in this direction and so on and some will some of these, these lights will come to the eye directly and we will be able to see this particle, this particle, this particle, this particle, this particle makes the path. The question is, if the light bounces off from here and is going in this direction and then it again bounces off from here and then comes to eye, why don't I see the laser here? And the answer is intensity intensity. Most of the light continues, only a very small fraction is scattered. And then uh, that intensity of that scattered part is very, very small. But that small intensity, if it falls into the eye like this, it bounces off here and reaches the eye. It bounces off here and reaches the eye directly. That is enough for the eye to sense it and see that, okay, there is a particle here. Okay, there is a particle here, a bright particle, a shining particle, a shining particle from wherever it comes. But if there is a second scattering which sends the light to the eye, that intensity will be another order of magnitude lower. You have one scattering here, another scattering here. When it is scatters, it's not that everything will get scattered. He, from here, when it is scatters, not that everything is, gets scattered. So most of it goes ahead and only a small part goes in some other direction. Similarly here, only a very small part of this, it, this itself is very small. And then very small part of this will come to the eye. And I will not be able to see this particle. So I will only see this I will only see particle here, particle here, particle here, particle here from where it is coming to the eye in one go. That is why we see only that beam and not the parts.